Hi dear students, welcome to Bullion Qatar. Hope you all are fine and you are well preparing for your upcoming CBSC board examination 2023. February 28th, we are going to face our chemistry examination. We have to score, at any cost, we have to score 70 out of 70 in this examination. It is possible, we have different types of questions, you know, MCQ questions are there, assertion reason questions are there, descriptive type of questions are there. Definitely we can able to score 70 out of 70 in chemistry examination. Hope you know that last year there was two term examination, term 1, term 2 that was little difficult because term 1 examination fully MCQ and term 2 that is descriptive type of question. But this year we have only one examination so we have to fully concentrate on that one. So dear all. In chemistry examination, when you're approaching, you should have a proper idea about each and every chapter and which all area you have to be focused more and which chapter you have to be more concentrated in numerical and theory part. So that we are going to discuss in this session in chemistry 2023 CBSC board examination 70 out of 70. How can we score it by using around 10 chapters? You know, total in chemistry, we have 10 chapters starting from solution and ending with biomolecules, right? So let me discuss a clear picture about the chapters and their weightage and where you have to focus more. So we are all careful and watch it. First one, solutions. We have total three chapters from physical chemistry, which are solutions, electrochemistry and chemical kinetics. Solution chapter, you can able to see seven marks. And uh, electrochemistry, among the all 10 chapters, electrochemistry carries the highest weightage. They are all 9 marks and chemical kinetics 7 marks. So they're all, these are the physical chemistry. You know, physical chemistry means when you're studying, you should focus more on the numerical part. The, even the theory part is important, but still, you know, solution chapter, we have a lot of numerical part from Henry's law and uh, Raoult's law and the molarity, molality and even from the last part, colligative properties, right? So that's important. Even the theory part, like what is the definitions and what are the ideal, non-ideal, that, that all parts that is included in solution chapter. Electrochemistry, when you're focusing, definitely you can expect question from Nernst equation, the battery part and the Faraday's laws, the conductivity part, molar conductivity, those numerical part you should be concentrate more and chemical kinetics chapter that's very sure first order reaction rate constant half-life calculation order molecularity difference see in these kind of chapters you can able to see that uh, numerical question and also give important for theory also so dear all these are the physical chemistry chapter you have to study or you have to be focused on which one the numerical part Let's go for the fourth chapter, D and F block elements and fifth chapter, coordination compound. These are the two chapters in which area inorganic chemistry. You know, inorganic chemistry, we are dealing with the elements, D and F block element and coordination compounds. These chapters, it's no, they're all 7-7, seven, seven, total 14 marks from inorganic chemistry part. So these two chapters, when you're studying, you know, there is not that much numerical. Only a few numerical like which one, the magnetic moment calculation nu is equal to root of n into n plus 2 Bohr magnetor. That's only one numerical you can expect. Remaining all are mostly the theory based questions. So you have to give importance for theory based questions and even the value based questions in this chapter. D and F block and coordination combo. You know, D and F block element, what are the importance area? that uh, properties of D block element, lanthanide contraction and their consequences and the last part, you know, the KMNO4 and K2Cr207 preparation property structure, etc. Whereas in coordination compound, you know, IUPAC nomenclature, uh, Werner's theory, valence bond theory, crystal field theory, metal carbonyls and their application of coordination compound, isomerism, this area, you have to be fresh up with the every, every point when you're studying, keep uh, st stress on the examples also. So careful about that. Now, dear all, overall, I will discuss once again, I will come to this point. Now I'm going for the major part of our chemistry, that is organic chemistry. You know, total five chapters are there in organic chemistry. What is the first chapter? Hello alkenes and hello irenes. It carries six mark. And uh, alcohol, phenols and ether. It's some more important. It's also carry six mark. Aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid. Among the five organic chapter, aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acid prefer or carry higher weightage, eight marks. And the last one, so in the second last one, amines. And one more we have biomolecules, 7 marks. I mean 6 marks. So, dear all, 
Hello alkane, alcohol, amine, carry 6 mark, biomolecule 7 mark, the highest weightage is from aldehydes ketones. You know from our organic chemistry part, you can carry, you can expect the questions, IUPAC nomenclature, conversion questions, distinction test and uh, the some naming reactions, right? All these are very important and properties like acidity, which is more acidic, which is uh, high basic, uh, like that. Questions you can expect from each one, this organic chapter and biomolecules, you know, carbohydrates, you have to study protein part is there, vitamin part is there, nucleic acid is there. So those area you have to be more fo focused on organic chemistry. So dear all, when you consider all the five organic chapters, we have total 33 marks. Total 33 marks is you can expect from overall which one organic chemistry and remaining 37 marks is from physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry. So dear all first five chapter carry 37 marks and remaining five organic chapter carry 33. So our aim and our target is which one 70. 70. It is it is possible dear all. It is possible. It is possible, but we should have a proper schedule for your preparation. First, you study the theory and keep practicing the questions. So set a timetable as per your convenience. Which all chapters are most easier? Study first and uh, and uh, just to keep it there. Which all are important, or especially organic? Uh, give importance for organic. All the conversions, all the reagents, everything. Try to recover again, again, again. Time is there, and even the numerical part. For example, electrochemistry, solution, chemical kinetics. This chapter keep Keep practicing the questions with the numericals. So if you practice in this way with a proper schedule and proper aim, definitely you can able to score 70 out of 70 in this uh, examination. So I wish you all the very best for your upcoming February 28th. That is the day we are going to approach our chemistry examination. So whatever the doubts you have in any of this concept, you can enter into our YouTube channel. You will get so many uh, connection with these chapters and even the concept, maybe MCQ, all types of questions will be there in our channel. So you can able to uh, focus these kind of topics in our channel. So once again, wish you all the very best and we are making in another video for your understanding from each chapter, which area you have to concentrate. So we'll meet again with the upcoming video. So wait for the second part. Thank you all.